Here comes the ride, Married at First Sight Season 10. Who is the most beautiful bride of all? This is something I usually do at the beginning of the season before we get to know how crazy the couples are. But because there was just so much drama and tea, girl, I didn't get to do it. So I decide I'm going to do it this morning. This is my veil. Yes, it is. I have a very simple veil because my dress was diamond studded. So <laughs> simple veil. Okay, y'all. So this is something I usually do. Matter of fact, welcome back to Church Girls Want to Get Married to. This is Married at First Sight Season 10. We're going to be talking about all the brides and the grooms and who was pretty and I'm going to do top three. We're just going to be positive today because there is so much drama, y'all. I am so married at first sight season and drama and tea out. There is just so much drama and so much tea that I just wanted to do something fun and just enjoy the season and the couples, but they're all so crazy. We can't enjoy them, girl. Every time Brandon acts crazy, here comes his groomsmen talking about they have received. Taylor's a liar. Uh, she stole his passport. They got police reports received. I mean, his groomsmen just act like a bunch of girls, just extremely feminine. I've never seen men to act like that. Every time he act crazy, like he did this week with the producers, and cussing Taylor out like, mm, F you, Taylor. Here comes the groom man talking about they have receipts. Girl, I told you there is so much tea. I'm, I'm, it's so much tea. I can't just, just, just so, so much tea. But I'm not going to talk about all that tea today. You're going to have to come back for that. Because I feel like talking about that right now. Okay? I want to talk about all the grooms and the brides and their dresses and their hair and their makeup. Again, this is something I usually do at the beginning of the season, but because there was just so much drama and tea, I didn't get a chance to do it. So I'm going to do it this morning. Yes, I am having, I have my PJs on, okay? I've been up since three o'clock taping and recording and doing all of this stuff. Okay, so I have all my notes here. Whose dress do you think was the best dress? Whose dress was the best dress? Okay, so I'm going to do from three to one. I'm, we're going to be all positive today, okay? We're only going to talk about the good today. <laughs> Even though I already gave him a little bit of tea. Come back for more later. Okay, so my number three. I'm going to do three, two, and one. And today's the Oscars, I believe, right? Today's the Oscars, so this is perfect for the Oscars. Best dress, because you know we just watch for the dresses, girl. Okay, so the best dress, I'm going to have to go number three. I'm going to have to give it to Jess. Jess is number three for me. Um, I probably would not wear Jess' dress, but, you know, we're going to be positive today. Number three, uh, Je uh, Jess. I don't know what was that Katie have on, girl. It looked like she was going to communion service. But anyways, <laughs> we're going to be positive today, okay? Number two is Taylor. I really wanted to give Taylor number one because I really like the dress, but her dress was obviously big. So I could not give her number one, but I really, 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 really wanted to give her number one. I went back, I looked at the pictures, I looked at the, the videos again, and I'm like, oh girl, I can't give you number one. I wanted to give it to her. I love the back of her dress. Beautiful, very sexy with a kind of an open open back with the share very very sexy so i couldn't give it to her but it was it was because it was a little big it was obviously big and i was like girl pull your dress up so number one i know y'all are not gonna believe who the number one dress is remember this is before we know that the, the, they're crazy okay <laughs> this is before the drama this is i usually do this right after the weddings before we know that the couples are crazy <laughs> So my number one dress is, drum roll please, Mendy. Mendy gets number one dress. Her dress fits like a glove. It's like she was fitted for it over, you know, it's like she, she planned her wedding. She was getting married and it was just perfect. And maybe because she's tiny, um, it, was, it just fits her perfectly. And it reminds me of my dress. How I went all over, couldn't find a dress. I went to Davis Bridal. I went to New York. I went all over trying to find a dress. And then somebody said, go to Kenilworth. 
I call bed and appointment because you know you can't just show up. You got to make an appointment, girls. Those of you who trying to get married and you engage, you have to make an appointment. And I told the lady the type of dresses I want. So when I came in, my appointment time, she said, I picked out these dresses for you. And I pointed. I was like, that's my dress. And sure enough, that's the dress I picked and wore because they had a little jacket on it. I don't like all that out. You know, I feel very, very uncomfortable. So Mendy's dress remind me of my dress. If I could come by Mendy's dress and Taylor's dress, I would wear. So Mendy, it's number one dress for me. Very pretty, perfectly fit like a glove. Like it was made especially for her. Okay. So Mendy gets my number one dress. What is your number one dress? Leave it in the comment section and let me know, please. Most handsome husband or most handsome tuck. What was it with the blue tux this year? I don't know. I think every year they have a theme and I guess, you know, they're trying to, um, you know how the trends go. Blue tux is in now. So everybody's wearing a blue tux. I like the blue tux. I know a lot of people didn't like them. I like them. Um, I love men in tuxedos, by the way, in suits. Okay. If y'all don't know, my husband wears a suit every day and I just knew I would marry a man in suit. I just love men in suits. Just like, Okay, so my number three uh, han most handsome husband was Zach, okay? I wanted to give Zach number two, but he's short, so he didn't come off really good. <laughs> um, so number three is Zach. I thought Zach, first of all, I think he is very, very handsome. He's a very good looking man. And all of you who, who say he's not, you're lying. Uh, you've been rejected by a good looking man. And now you're mad at Zach because he's a good looking man who's rejected. Maybe, but we're going to be positive today. This is about being all positive and happy in positivity. But I, I think Zach is a very, very good looking man. Did y'all see those pictures I put in my community there? Girl, good looking, very, very handsome man. Okay, so Zach is my number three for the most handsome guy in his tuxedo. His husband in tuxedo is Zach. For me, my number two is Derek. Now, I wanted to give Derek the number one, but I just could not because there was somebody I thought who looked more handsome in their tuxedo. So Derek for me, whoo, Derek is just, he's just so adorable. He is tall, handsome. Y'all know I love me a tall man, girl. Love Derek. He is just so handsome. He looks very good. He looks like Ashton Kutcher and he looks like James Bond. If he, when he put on the black when he was trying on his tuxedo, ooh, and he did the, what? I was like, ah! <laughs> James Bond, so, so handsome, so number two, most handsome husband for me in their tuxedo is Derek, number one, y'all not gonna believe it, you are not going to believe who my number one is, I know you're gonna say, Janice, you're crazy, girl, what is wrong with you, but see, this is, this is how I am, I, I look at the broader picture. You understand? I don't just look, I'm not like tunnel vision, like everybody's me is blaming Zach for Mendy without blaming Mendy for being lower self-esteem and desperate and nagging. But anyways, we're being positive today, girls. Let's be, <laughs> let's be positive. My number one most handsome husband is, drum roll please, Michael. Yes, 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 honey. He looks so handsome because you know he's dark skinned so if he had wore the blue it would have been a wash but he put on that white that white jacket oh very very handsome go back in my in my matchmaking in my uh wedding video and see that very very handsome i was like oh yes michael okay and y'all know my husband's name is michael and i wanted my husband to wear a white for our wedding but you know my husband has a good so he wouldn't look real handsome in the guy and um, I wanted him to wear a bow tie. He didn't want to wear a bow tie because with his job, they have events, they have to wear a bow tie. So he didn't want to wear a bow tie. He wore a tie tie. Oh, I was like, oh my God. But, you know, I just was like, okay, whatever. That's what you want to wear. So my number one husband, number one most handsome husband is Michael. Yes, I thought Michael looked so handsome in the white. He looked extremely, extremely, extremely extremely handsome in the white. Remember, we're being positive today, okay? We're being positive. Okay, best hair. Best hair, of course, for the ladies. Best hair. I thought this year the budget was cheap. I mean, the budget was bad. Everybody was talking about Taylor's hair. I didn't see it, okay? I'm not into weeds. I can't wear it. It's too hot. 
So everybody was talking about how bad the wig Taylor's wig was. I didn't see it. Um, so therefore, because y'all was talking about how bad her wig is, she did not make my, my best hair list. Okay. <laughs> because you guys were talking about how everybody, except for me, I'm like, her hair looks fine to me. They're like, girl, it was a mess. I was like, okay, so because everybody was talking about how bad her wig is, uh, her big what her wig was, she did not make my list, okay? If y'all wasn't talking about how bad it was, she would have gotten number three for me. So, of course, I had to scramble and put number three as, um, as Jess. I mean, I think the budget, they didn't do anything to her here, okay? I can't give it to uh, Mika. Mika didn't make my list at all. I'm sorry, Mika, girl. You didn't make my list. That hair looked like you was going to the gym. And I saw, I know I saw a black lady doing your hair. And I am disgusted at her. Because she should have left her naturally curly hair. Oh, you were so beautiful for the um for the bachelorette party. I'm like, why didn't they leave her here like that for the bachelorette party? Okay, so I'm gonna give it to Jess. They didn't do nothing with her the hair, but the others were just bad. So I just they just didn't make it. Okay, my number two was Katie. I thought they tried a little a little bit more with Katie's hair. Um, and so she made my number two. And my number one, you're not gonna believe it. You're not gonna believe my number one is drum roll, please. Mandy again. I feel as if they put in a whole lot of extra work to make Mandy look really, 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 really pretty. Like not saying she's not pretty. I'm just saying she made my list a couple of times. And I'm like, they really, 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 really did like I don't know if she had her own team. Or she got somebody from the outside, but her hair was exceptionally beautiful and she looked like a real bride. She didn't look like a, a bride, a two week bride. She looked like a real bride. Okay. Makeup. Makeup, 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 makeup. Here again, go back and watch my video. We're being positive. We're being positive. We're being positive. I thought the budget was a little low this year and the girls look like they just, you know, they, they plas splash it on themselves. Okay. My number three makeup is Katie. Okay. They did a little something with her. My number two is Taylor. First of all, if y'all don't know, I think Taylor's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful girl. She's beautiful. Her body is to live for girl. I need to get back out there and get the running. But I thought Taylor's um, makeup was number two. She looked like a bride. My number one makeup, you will not believe it. You're not going to believe my number one makeup. Drop roll, please. Mindy, again, I feel as if they put in a whole lot of extra work on Mindy. Either they put in a whole lot of extra work on Mindy, or she had her own team, or she did it independent or something, because her hair was the bomb, her makeup was the bomb, her dress was the bomb. OK, and maybe because they kept saying Zach is used to dating beautiful women and, you know, makeup only enhance what we already have. So my number one makeup is Mandy. So Mandy got number one best dress. Mandy got number one hair and Mandy got number one um, makeup. See? OK, I look at the broader picture. OK. All right. <clears throat> my number one. OK. Did I do? OK, most comfortable. Let me do the vows first, okay? The best vows. Best, best vows. Uh, my number three is Zach. Number three was Zach for me, okay? My number two was Derek. Ah! I loved his vows, but my number one drum roll, please, for the guys. <laughs> number one vows for the guys goes to Austin. And I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I think a couple of people, guys, got that line. The line where he says, from the first time I saw you, I knew I would I would marry you. <laughs> oh, he landed it perfectly. And so because of that, Austin, you have my number one for the vows. Number one vows for the wives. <clears throat> bro, bro, please, nobody made it. They were all thirsty. I was like, what? What? First of all, Jessica vow was too long, girl. Your vows is not supposed to be that long. Uh, Taylor vow, she said something about equality. I ain't like that. Okay. Mendy was thirsty and desperate. 
and so was Katie. So I was like, wait, what? Even though if you paid attention to the black girls' vows and the white girls' vows, the white girls were just going to enjoy the blessings of the husbands and all the black girls was going to work. I'm going to work. I work. Girl, please, bye. So nobody get the vows for the girls for me. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comment section. Am I being unfair? Tell me. You know. <laughs> I want to know what you think. Okay. The most comfortable couple. The couple to me that looked as if they met, they dated, they got married, they were taking their pictures, they were comfortable with each other, they were not awkward. Okay, number three. Number three is, drum roll please, wait. Number three, Austin and Jessica. They were very awkward. They were the most awkward, but I had to make them number three because the other two was just so pitiful and awful. So I had to give it to them, okay? They were very awkward. So my number three most comfortable couple goes to Austin and Jess. <clears throat> my number two, Katie and Derek. Now, I know a lot of you guys will, will say Katie and Derek is number one, but I just thought Katie, she just became drunk at the end of the evening. I don't like that. She was all on him like... I just I can't stand a drunken woman. Oh my god, it's just so it's just so so unladylike. Okay. So number three for me was Austin and Jessica. Number two was Derek and Katie, but I love the chemistry between Katie and Derek. Okay. And my number one drum roll, you are not gonna believe it. You are absolutely not gonna believe it. Number one drum roll, my most comfortable couple is Seth and Mendy. Yes, I said it back. Mindy, Zach and Mindy, just go back. Look at the video. Look at the pictures. They look comfortable. They look like they've dated. And because I'm making the assumption, because Mindy was all, oh my God, he's so handsome. Maybe it's because of that. Or maybe it's because allegedly, even though we're being positive to this, Zach is playing a role. I don't know. But they look very comfortable to me. And even when he picked her up and he brought her in, he went over the thresh floor and nobody else did that but him. And I just love that. I just love that. So my number one most comfortable couple is Zach and Mindy. I know you're not going to believe it, but leave it in the comment section for me. Who do you think is your number one most comfortable couple? Okay. Most romantic husband who do you think the most romantic you know i'm a hopeless romantic ah! i just love a man that's a gentleman and just just a romantic and just oh my god just know how to romance a woman my number three austin i had to give it to him like austin made a lot of i have to give it to you you're just there <laughs> you're not as bad as the other two so i just have to give it to you so my number three of the most romantic husband is Austin. He didn't do anything uh, exceptionally well. He, he's just not as bad as the other two that didn't make my list. My number two, my number two is Derek. I think Derek is a gentleman and he's just so sweet. I really absolutely love and adore Derek. And my number one, I don't care what y'all say, drum roll please. My number one most romantic husband goes to Zach. Yes, I said it. Oh girl, when he remember, because I know somebody is going to say in the comment section, Remember, we don't know the crazy about the couples, okay? So we're just doing this as if this was the day after they got married. So we don't know all the craziness yet. We don't know that they're not working out, they're getting a divorce. We don't know that yet. So when Zach knelt down on one knee and said, Will you marry me, girl? I think, I was like, oh! I was like, oh, Zach! Zach! So romantic. I was like, oh my God, he's so romantic. But my number one most romantic husband goes to Zach. Yes, I said it. Get out of your tunnel vision and you will see it too. Okay. Most romantic. And then when he picked her up and carried her in the house, in the hotel room, and laid her on the bed and kissed her, girl, I was like, woo, Lord Jesus, remind me of my husband and my. All right. So what do you guys think? Let me know. All righty. Who do you think had the cutest PJs? Cutest PJs. Do you remember what they had on? <laughs> 
my number three was Jess. Jess had on that navy blue PJ with a little white stripe. I thought it was very cute and very modest. Let him know you ain't getting nothing tonight, okay? And my number two was Katie. I thought Katie's PJ was, was very cute. My number one drunk roll, please, is my girl Taylor. Oh my God, her PJ was just so pretty. I was like, oh, girl, where did you get that at? Let me go look at that. It's so cute. It was like she had the belly out and then she had the little booty shorts on and then she had her garter belt on her leg. It was just so pretty. And then she, her body is just to live for. Girl, well, she's 27. You know, I'm 42. Um, but I thought Taylor had the most cutest PJ. Okay. I think this is my last one. The most natural couple when they're everybody's getting along. Okay. Who, who, remember, we don't know all the craziness. So the most natural couple for me is number three is Austin and Jessica. Uh, they're very awkward, but, you know, you can tell they enjoy each other's company. They like being around each other. My number two is Katie and uh, Derek. Um, they're, my, they're my number two, okay? They're cute. Um, they're cute, okay? And my number one, drum roll, please, you are not going to believe who my number one most natural couple when they're getting along and i say it all the time i say it all the time how i love this couple when they're getting along my number one is taylor and brandon yes 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 go back and watch some of my videos i said oh i just especially in this week's review of episode six matter for episode six the honeymoon the life of the honeymoon oh i just love it when they're getting along when they wake up when they're having dinner they're holding hands She's holding his hands and he's, I just love when they are getting along. And so they make, Brandon and Taylor makes my number one most comfortable couple uh, when they're getting along. I think they look natural. They're holding hands. It's not forced. And they seem very, very romantic. Reminds me of me and my husband. Where, you know, we are, you're out and you're just holding hands. You're just touching. And you know, your hand is just lingering and you just, just catch the pinky. Oh, I just think they're there. When they are telling Brandon's getting along, I think they, um, they, they're very, very, very cute. And they're my number one most natural couple when they're getting along. Of course, go back and watch my matchmaking video of who I said would make it just from, just from what the experts said, when you're watching what they say, what the problems are and what they're scared of. So, so far, my predictions has been right. I'm not sure about Katie and Derek. Some people say they're not together. Some people say they're not together. I don't know. We'll see. Um, my number one couple to make it was Austin and Jessica. We'll see, hopefully. And, of course, I already knew the others were doomed because based on what the experts said and what their fears were. All right? So, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Am I crazy or did I get those rights? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? And tell me who your favorite couples are. Okay? I absolutely love you, girl. Have a wonder, wonder, wonderful joy. And I'll try to come back this week with some more tea. But I'm just all teed out. You know, I try to post as much in my community tab <laughs> to keep y'all, uh, you know, keep, 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 keep your tongue wet. <laughs> okay, so let me know. I love you. Remember to subscribe. Thumbs this video up. Share it out. Invite a friend. Tell somebody about my channel. And remember, my books, 23 Times of Guys, remind me on social media. It's available on my blog at jenniselsonblog.com or on Amazon. If you want to get it quick in two days, you have to do it through Amazon, okay? And then my other book, The Naked Wife, if you don't want to end up being the naked wife, you need to do what? Choose correctly. And then my other book, In Christ I Am. And of course, I have several other books, okay? I love you. Also, if you would love to buy me coffee, you know your girl love coffee. Cash at me at the cash at the dollar sign, Jan and Sultan, J-A-N-I-C-E-H-Y-L-T-O-N. Thank you for Maria who sent me, bought me coffee for two weeks. Somebody else, I still need to go in and accept it. And I love gifts. If you want to send me gifts, you can send packages, love packages, okay? Not evil people packages. <laughs> Jan and Sultan, P.O. Box 422, Belleville, New Jersey, B E L L V E. B-E-L-L-E-V-I-L-L-E, -L 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 -E, New Jersey, Belleville, New Jersey, 07109. And if you just want to send me emails, Janice Hilton blog, at Janice at Janice Hilton blog, uh, you can go on my blog and get that address, okay? I absolutely love you guys. Let me know what you think. Did I get this right or am I crazy or am I just crazy?
do I just have too much of a good heart? <laughs> I love you, girl. Bye. See you later. Bye-bye.